S46 is getting results. A fire at an illegal landfill is finally out. I'm Sean Gables and I'm Brittany Miller. We've been investigating this fire since September and pushing the owners for answers. People who live near the landfill on Bishop Road tell us they became sick because of the poor air quality. CBS 46's Ayanna Crystal is in the city of South Fulton with what's next, Ayanna. Brittany, it is still unknown how this fire started in the first place, but the most important thing is the fire is finally out. Take a look. A drastic change from just a few weeks ago. We're not seeing any smoke. You can still faintly smell the smoke in the air, but it is not nearly as bad as it was. So now the next phase starts, which is cleaning up the property. You can um, breathe better and like today we're outside and the smell is not so bad. Legina Yielding is thankful she can finally breathe fresh air again after dealing with smoke in the air for the last eight months. This illegal landfill off of Bishop Road caught on fire back in September. The smoke is better and they say it's out so hopefully that is the case. Um, haven't seen a whole lot of activity going on the last couple of weeks or since the court date. Um, hopefully he's going to start cleaning up and doing what he's supposed to do to, for the next phase. A judge ordered the owner of the illegal landfill, Tandy Bullock, to put the fire out by May 20th. He followed orders and the Environmental Protection Division concluded the fire is finally out. Today, we flew our CBS 46 drone over the property to see if there were any more hot spots, since residents are still saying there is smoke at different points during the day, but we did not see any. I'm glad he's making the effort. I'm just hopeful that he's going to do what actually has to be done and not just to get by with the least amount possible. Bullock's lawyer tells me there is a plan for the next phase of cleaning up the property, but did not give me those details. The community would feel more confident if we knew what his plan was and the deadlines that have been set in place. Somebody needs to be monitoring what's going on over there, um, and that's just based on what has happened in the past. All right, I just heard back from EPD and they inform me they do have a timeline for the owner of this property that he does have to comply with. It starts with two phases. He has to give them a plan for the sewer, which will require an engineer as well as the erosion that's due in the next month. Now they also have to start removing loads from the property, but that will be a process and ultimately everything has to be removed by July of 2020. Now EPD did tell me that they will do routine inspections to make sure that the owner is doing what he's supposed to be doing. That's the latest in the city of South Fulton. Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.